Yeah, you don't know you're watching four minute rasta and I'm Adrian. Alright, so today I'm making curry fish from my home for breakfast. I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. You don't know the thing already, you are gonna subscribe also. So just do your go on ready, you know. Yeah man, so right here so I have my fish with me. This is a jackfish I caught in my fish pot. I caught plenty of them actually. But this one I'm gonna make curry fish from, with it from my home for my breakfast. Right, right here I have a goat mullet fish. For all those who don't know it as yet, and this is a jackfish. Yeah, viewers. Yeah, man, a nice one. So I'm gonna make indoor setting not outdoor today yeah man so i'm gonna go straight ahead and show you how i do my thing quick and fast not gonna be long viewers and subscribers so what i'm gonna do right now i'm gonna clean up my fish and then get him seasoned yeah throw some season inside him the fish is already clean as you can see it's already clean uh give him a clean a nice and proper clean before i you know started the video so it's a little pre prep so if you was on subscribers welcome back to another one you don't know as i said curry fish today with some white rice so that's the setting for this today this morning so i'm gonna go straight into it clean up the fish and things you was on subscribers yeah man you don't know you watch farming with rasta people uh i get a knife right here yeah man, so the blade may I use to the viewers and subscribers. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to cut off the fin off it. This fin here. Alright. So the fin. I'm gonna trim right here. Trim those off. Getting well clean and ready for the season, viewers and subscribers. Yeah. Trim those off. Trim the, the, the fin off the goat mullet as well. Nice goat mullet. Yeah, viewers and subscribers. Mm -hmm. So, that's the free. And I'm going to cut this right in too. Right, I'm gonna cut the jackfish in two because I think it's it's too big to hold in the pot and I don't want it to give me any trouble so I'm gonna cut it in half. Alright. I cut I cut I cut quite a few of these viewers and subscribers the other day. Yeah, so this is how I I clean up my fish. See, it's very clean. I already wash it off with some lime juice and vinegar to cut away the rawness. So, I'm gonna go straight ahead and dash some season on it. Yeah, man. I'm gonna dash some season on it because I'm subscribe as quick and fast. Oh, here is the season section. I have some. Season here. This is the season. This is the season I'll be using. Badia complete seasoning. Yeah, this is a more like a natural season if you not subscribers. Yeah man, so I'm gonna dash some of this on the fish and make it marinate a little. Yeah. Yeah man, you don't know a Jamaican style in FIFA. And this is my style of cooking. You can't find them style of cooking here. No way else you don't subscribe. Me alone have it. I don't want too much on it. Not gonna drown it with the seasoning. Just to give him a little flavor. I don't really use much seasoning on food. You yeah, know, so all the head I get fried to, I go get curry to viewers and subscribers. 
dash, dash, dash. Put some on the goat mullet fish. Yeah, man. Yes, people, sir. That's about it. Well seasoned, so I'm gonna make it marinate a little. The season marinate through it throughout it a little. The seal seasoning already have salt on it, viewers. And subscribers. So I don't really need to add any salt to it. I'm just gonna get my frying pot ready. Right? Put it on the stove and get it ready, viewers and subscribers. So I can Yes, so I can start curry, curry it, the fish viewers and subscribers, right? I'm gonna get my hand washed off. Come on, so I'm gonna put this over here. Let that go and marinate for a few minutes. Yeah, you don't know viewers and subscribers. Don't know. Bang shot it again with another one. Gonna go and grab my frying pot. This is the pot I'll be using today. Yeah, gonna put it on the stove. Light him up and get him ready. Put some fire under him. Get him ready, right? Quick and fast. I don't think this can. So I'll be using some simple natural coconut oil for the action, yeah, for the cooking. Right? So I'm gonna bust that, put the oil straight into the pot. Don't want a lot, just a little to, you know, brown the fish a little. Even though it's curry fish I'm making, but this is my style of cooking, so I'm going to show you guys how I do it, viewers and subscribers. Right? That is it. Come on. Put that back where it came from. Yeah. And here's the thing, viewers and subscribers. I'll be using turmeric powder instead of curry powder, right? So this is more healthy, more natural. As you know, I promote healthy, healthiness and more natural stuff. So instead of the curry powder, I'll be using turmeric powder. Yeah, viewers and subscribers, and the brand, Badia. Yeah, man. So I'm going to add this straight to the pot. This is how I curry my fish, viewers and subscribers. Yeah, man. Add some of that to the pot. Turn down the stove. Yeah, viewers and subscribers. So this is how I do my thing, right? Get some. All right. Let that burn a little. I think the oil is hot, so I'm going to add my fish to it. Right, the oil is hot, so I'm going to add my fish to it, let it brown a little, and curry at the same time. Yes, yeah, you are. Look at that. So. Going to add the other, the other, the fish head. So this is how I've curried my fish viewers and subscribers. Different style. I don't know if anybody do it like this, but this is how I do it. Yeah, man. So I'm gonna just let this. Brown a little and get some, some of the curry color. Then I'm going to take them back out and get the 
goat molly fish done. Yeah, viewers and subscribers, so I'm just gonna. Okay, so I think it's brown a little now. Gonna go ahead and turn them. See, perfectly nice. And it has a little curry color from the turmeric. Turn the other one, which is the head of the fish. Yeah, viewers. So that's how I want it. That's how I want it, viewers and subscribers. Just like that. So I'm just gonna get let the other side brown out. Then I put in the goat molly fish. Yeah, viewers. So you don't know bunks in our kitchen. Come on, so. In the meantime, viewers and subscribers, that are going to catch some color, I'm going to get some seasoning ready, some natural seasoning like, you know, right here I have some onion, garlic, okra, tomato, and a piece of pumpkin. Yes, my scallion and thyme. So I'm going to wash these off and get them ready to put in the pot. Yeah. I'm going to move them and put your foot over here where it's more convenient. Yeah, if you want to subscribe, boy. So, I'm going to get these washed and cut them up and get them ready for the pot. Right? Yeah, man. So, that is it, you want to subscribe, boy. You don't know. Yeah, the fish are going to get some color over here. Don't know if you are going to subscribe. Yeah, man, so I you don't know Rasta style, natural, same way. Yeah, if you are going to subscribe, keep watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And click on the notification bell so you guys can get the update for whenever video is dropped. I think these can come out of the pot now because they already catch some color. As I said, I'm not really frying them. I'm just trying to get some color on them. Right? Just trying to get some color on them. As I said, this is how I curry my fish. This is my style. So, yeah. Though these are ready, I'm going to put them back in the pot for them to cook properly. Of course, but yeah, so add the goat mullet to it now. I'm gonna let the goat mullet catch some color, yeah, man. So, gonna finish cut up the vegetable and get the vegetable and the natural seasoning them ready. Yeah. All right, viewers, so my fish has finished brown. And catch a little color from the turmeric. Yeah, there it is. Looking very good already. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to add my seasoning to the pot just like this. So this is the oil that I use and, you know, color the fish. The same oil. As you can see, it's looking very yellow from the turmeric powder. And over here, I got my fresh seasoning cut up chopped and some mints you know right here i have garlic my onion pumpkin and a little tomato my scotch bonnet pepper the good old scotch bonnet jamaican scotch bonnet pepper my okras and my scallion and then i'm going to put the thyme in it after i add these so i'm going to throw these get these in the pot and just let them go on you know see if steam like or I would say, um, yeah, I'm just going to let them go and steam like. Cook them off a little. Right? Yeah. Just like that, you as a subscriber. Let them go and simmer, you know? I'm going to add all of this to the pot. All of it. Yeah man, that is it, guys and subscribers.
then I'm gonna give it a stir so the seasoning can cook even throughout it right there it is viewers and subscribers looking so delicious already yeah man so I'm gonna add a little salt to it. I'm gonna add some salt for flavor. Not gonna add too much, just a little for flavor. Yeah, so I think that will do it. That will do it, viewers and subscribers. Give it some give it a stir so salt can spread throughout it and I'm gonna burst my scotch bonnet pepper so the pepper catch some flavor as well right okay so that is it viewers and subscribers then I'm gonna add my fish back to the pot yeah add them back to the pot so they can cook so they can cook through as well because i just let them catch some color i didn't fry them as long so these are going to catch cook properly now add them back to the pot so very big fish viewers and subscribers catching the pot as you know i'm a fisherman you can buy guys can check out the fishing videos that i have there are plenty of videos of myself and friends doing some fishing, right? Yeah, man. So that is it, viewers and subscribers. Yeah, man. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a little water. Just a little, not much. Don't need much into it. Yeah. And let it go and simmer, viewers and subscribers. Yeah, man. Let it go and simmer down. And a low flame. Come on. Just like that, viewers and subscribers. So I'm gonna let it sit and simmer a little for about 10 minutes. Still 10 minutes is good. 10 minutes is very much good. I will like it. Right? Cover him up. Like that. Yeah, viewers, and let him go and simmer a little. Yeah man, looking good. So, meanwhile, let us see my viewers and subscribers. Gonna get this cleaned up back. Right? Clean those up back. And also, I'm gonna put on my rice. Right? So, it's curry chicken and white rice. The norm, it's the norm. Right? It's the rice. I'm gonna get the rice ready and active. Gonna wash it and get it prepared for the stove. Yeah, man. So both of them can finish at the same time. Oh, didn't put in my time, viewers. Gonna add this to the pot as well. Give him a wash. Add him to the pot. Get some flavor from him. Yeah, viewers and subscribers. Yeah, man. Think him can go right there. In the middle, right there, man. Put him, viewers. Yeah, man. Just like that, viewers. Cover him back. Yeah, man. So I'm gonna cook the rice in this pot. Right? Gonna get about two cups of this good old jasmine rice. Right? Just two cups. I don't need a lot that looks too much as well so i'm gonna use one and a half cup of rice yeah one and a half cup of rice don't want to do too much and overdo it the thing yeah so i'm gonna get this washed get it washed then 
put some fire under it. Yeah. All right, so the rice is washed. Yeah, I'm gonna put it on the stove. Get some fire on it. Like that. Put him there. Yeah, then I'm gonna add some salt to it. Cause you don't know if you was on subscribers, you know, I know. No, no fresh rice. No, no fresh rice to eat. Just for a little flavor still. Yeah, man. So that's it. I think that will do. Yeah. You have the fish here well simmering. Looking good. Yeah, so I'm going to also add some butter to that. Just a little butter. Add some water for flavor using the chiffon Jamaican water. Add some of this for flavor. Get some flavor in the rice, viewers and subscribers. See? Just like that. And I feel like I should add some to the fish as well. Just for a little flavor. Yeah, like that. Yeah, viewers and subscribers looking very good. Yeah, give the rice a little stir. Then, I'm going to cover it. Let it boil and let it do it. its thing, you know? Yeah. Viewers and subscribers. So, yeah, man, this is it, viewers and subscribers. Quick and fast. You're nothing big. You don't know. Farming in Rasta style. You're watching Banks do his thing. Right there, so viewers and subscribers. So, gonna get the pot cover for that. And let that go and cook. Cook slow. Come on, found it. So, cover that. Let it go and do its thing. Yeah, viewers and subscribers, I should put a little garlic in it as well for the rice to catch a little flavor. Yeah, that's how I do it. You know, garlic is very good for the immune system. Garlic is very good for flavor as well. So you give the rice a little flavor. Yeah, man. Way more healthier like that, viewers and subscribers. So I'm going to give this boat, these boat pots, about around roughly 15 minutes, viewers and subscribers. And then I'm going to show you the end result of it, right? Yeah man, you don't know viewers and subscribers farming in Rasta. So you go viewers. Yeah man. So give you like 15 minutes and then I'm gonna share it and let you guys see the results of what I've done. Yeah. And how it looks. Yeah. So keep watching viewers and subscribers. Remember to like, comment and subscribe. Subscribe and click on the notification bell. Don't know. Alright viewers, so Sorry the 15 minutes and my curry fish is just about ready. There it is viewers and subscribers. A little dark but you know I'm sure you guys can still see it. So this is ready and my rice is ready also. Right so I'm going to go ahead and share this and let you guys see how I present this. Yeah. So this is just breakfast viewers and subscribers. Breakfast setting. You don't know nothing big. 
just simple and easy viewers and subscribers yeah man so i'm gonna share it and let you guys see how it looks in a plate of course you don't know farming rasta like comment subscribe don't know click on the notification bell for more you know excitement and more cooking videos and all ad all out adventure videos viewers and subscribers so, yeah viewers and subscribers finish sharing the food yeah man so that's how it looks viewers and subscribers this is how it looks don't know this is my fish right there the goat mullet fish and the jackfish yeah viewers and subscribers looking very delicious and my white white rice right here on the side yeah man straight jasmine rice viewers and subscribers rich yeah so that's it viewers and subscribers looking very delicious yeah man jamaican style you know where it go i'm gonna go ahead and add some little sides on it so right here i have some raw tomato you don't know you have to have the raw veg viewers and subscribers you know I have to have the raw veg viewers and i have some cucumber as well yeah man straight veggies on the side viewers and subscribers so yeah man this is it viewers and subscribers curry fish and white rice straight up yeah viewers and subscribers so there you go viewers and subscribers this is me right here for a minute rasta oh yeah. yeah man you don't know bang style my style of cooking and you're watching four minute rasta remember viewers like comment subscribe click on the notification bell for when the videos are dropped viewers and subscribers you don't know come on so i'm gonna go right ahead dig into this viewers and subscribers don't know quick and fast you know come on so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a taste test. Yeah, dig right into it and see how it goes. Gonna grab a fork quick and fast. Yeah, man. Alright. There's some fish with it. Yeah, viewers, as I expected, very nice. Yeah, man. Very, very nice, viewers and subscribers. So, subscribers. So, I'm going to leave the video right here for today. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Click on the notification bell. Yeah, viewers, and thank you for supporting. Thank you for supporting. Family.